record-breaking day with a high of 65 degrees. Ross Caruso in the Weather Center, and uh, quite a swing from last week, Ross. Yeah, you know, based on just how the temperature felt from last Friday to this Friday, felt about 100 degrees of a difference for us. That's because we had wind chills that made that frigid air, which was below zero, too, feel closer to about 35 degrees below zero. We had a high today, again, at 65, so that is a huge difference for us, especially for today and just a rarity in itself that we see temperatures in the 60s alone in the month of December. But this late in the month, just two days left before we go into the new year and again a high of 65 degrees. There's actually only one occasion where we had a high of 65 degrees or higher between today and tomorrow for the last two days of December dating back into the late 40s. So again, very rare to have this type of warmth for us, but I'm sure everyone enjoyed this type of extreme weather for us today. Nice to see it was mostly dry through a good chunk of the day as well. We did have some of that rain earlier this morning. Also had a little bit in some other places far to the north and west, but just a very mild day for us. And again, just your typical crazy weather that we experience here in Ohio, but certainly a rare event, both what we had last Friday and this Friday for us. Just kind of funny how the timing works out happening both on Friday. Temperatures still into the upper 50s at this time, 60 degrees right now here in Circleville, 43 already down in Athens, though 57 in McConnellsville, 55 in Zanesville. So we have quite the variety out on the map there, but soon pretty much everyone's going to be in the same department. Not that we're going to come crashing down below freezing. We're not going to worry about any ice out of this system. We're going to be dealing with plain rain, but that could amount to some problems in of its own. Now we haven't seen any widespread rain recently, but that's starting to take place just to our west. So if you know anyone that's taking a late drive, perhaps towards Dayton or vice versa. Definitely plan for a very slow drive out there, and that's likely going to continue to be the case even heading into tomorrow morning. But you can see rain starting to spread in over into Union County, right over Marysville, just entering parts of western Delaware County. Might start to notice a few sprinkles in around town. Probably won't see anything widespread here in Columbus until the next few hours after midnight. But here's a look at your New Year's Eve weekend or New Year's weekend forecast. It will be 54 degrees for a high tomorrow. That'll be pretty early in the day, but temperatures are going to stay steady into the four, upper 40s, low to mid 50s through a good chunk of the day. Things will be drying out just in time for those new year festivities and looking at a pretty nice day for the start of 2023. So that'll be something to look forward to as well. And again, as far as those rain showers, those will be picking up overnight into the morning for us going into your Saturday, dealing with some pockets of some heavier rain possible as well for us as we head into the overnight. We'll then continue to see that rain linger into the mid morning hours before turning scattered into the afternoon. Models hinting that we will see the potential for a few more showers going into the late afternoon hours. Otherwise, it's looking like temperatures will be gradually falling into the 40s for us as we head into your Saturday night. So if you have any plans, well, it's looking like things will be pretty calm for us as we head into the big ball drop as those temperatures will be falling down into the upper 30s by the time we head into your Sunday morning. But things are looking nice and dry, but it will be a little chilly, all things considered what we've been dealing with. Temperatures will be falling into the low 40s out there, but the main thing looking dry. And actually, whenever I was updating this graphic from last year, it was in the 50s and we're dealing with rain. So fortunately, we'll be looking at a dry end to the year for us. And then it's looking like with some of the rain that we'll be talking about going into the day on New, Year New Year's Eve, we could be looking at a widespread quarter to a half an inch, possibly some more in some other locations as well. So something to keep an eye out for. Other than that, a couple quiet days as we head into the end of the weekend going into early next week. We're still dealing with those temperatures well above average. More rain on the way, though, and then some much cooler, more seasonable weather returning going into next Friday, where we'll start to balance things out.